What's up, everybody? Blez weekend starts now. It's Friday. Daytime Dak with you on Blez Football. 2023 Prism NFL Hobby 2 Box. Pick your team number 35. We're randoming C.J. Stroud, Will Anderson, Tank Dell, and the Houston Texans to the break for free. Backwards for you, Austin. Dice. Seven. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, discount double check. Seven dice. Seven random right there. Seven. The Dallas Cowboys. Sam Isaac. Well, you only had two teams here, so I understand. Sammy. Sam Isaac has the rights to Houston here. Let's do it. Let's do it. Fresh case. All right, everybody. Let's guess the last autograph. Fourth and final auto. How much we guessed it for? Let's guess it for 30 bucks. Let's guess it for 30 bucks. Get you guys some of that money. Fresh case. We're labeled. We're labeled two box PYTs for the fresh case. Everybody in the room, let's guess. Last auto guess for 30. What's up, Bucky? Bucky, what do you got going on this weekend? What's up, Skip? Bucky, what's good with you this week? Oh, <laughs> thanks, Doc. Thank you, Doc. I take that as a compliment. I did overkick my coverage. I, I, I take it. I, I take that as a compliment. Thank you, Doc. Yep, she's a hot one. She's a handful, but then again, what, what women are in handfuls. She's, she's a handful, but she's the best in the world.
All right. Did we get all of our guesses in? Yeah. Uh, it, it's funny, Doc. You know, uh, in most ways, we are a perfect fit. But in, in other ways, you know, she, she came from a very different upbringing than I did. I was a New York, New Jersey City suburban boy. And, and she was a country, you know, uh, Texas and Utah farmer girl. So in a lot of areas, we're, we're you know, uh, square hole, circle peg kind of a thing, you know. There's 15 left in our filler. There's 15 left in our filler. Good luck, guys. Yeah, true. Well, true story. True story. Jordan loves silver. The four hundred dollar man. I don't believe they gave him four hundred billion for four years. Bosa. Let's see something huge. Come on, come on. AJ Terrell silver. He's a champion. Felix for the Chiefs. All right, there's a Stroud. First auto is going to be for the Bucks. Starting defensive tackle, can't see for Tampa. Ooh, why is it Will every time lately? The flashback silvers are never Stroud. They're Will every time. Zappy to 99. I'm trying, Sammy. I'm going to try for you. Amon Ra to 99. That's a really nice looking ice card. Joey B, Portal. Carl Lawson, 199 for the Jets. <clears throat> Derek Hall, Hyper, 175. I, I think he's really good too, Jeff. I think Kansi's really good. Is that a short print? <laughs> How about box one contains a prolific short print? How about that? Box one has a short print. That's gotta be it. That looks like the prolific to me. All right, Ice of Ocho Cinco. Kelsey, Curse. Apple Macintosh, True Silver, ED2000, Juju, nice auto, nice auto for Robbie Stevens, Josh System of a Downs, North Carolina wide receiver for the Colts. <laughs> Hyper, Zach Ertz, 175. Silver of Mr. Swift. Travis Swift. Oh man. If things go right and they and, and they get a new a, a strong new defensive coordinator and they tinker with some things. Nick Bosa and Chase Young should be getting to the quarterback all year long in 2024. Stephon Diggs, silver. Oh, that's so fat looking. Moses Brick Dome. How about a color match of Jalen Hurts to 75? That's a smooth criminal card right there. And uh, I will guarantee, I'll bet anybody, this guy gets back on the map next season. All right? I, I, I hate the way he's being talked about. I really do. It's ridiculous. The dude becomes a starter, and, and then in year two... Year one goes to a Super Bowl, or what, what is it? Year one is a pure starter goes to a Super Bowl? I think it, year one. And then year two, the whole team shits the bed, and oh, Hertz isn't that good. He's not that good. I don't think he's good. Huh? Don't you don't? Good. I do. 
I think he's real good. I, I just since think he college, needs to be in the right. Since college, he's always been like the second choice. I mean, I mean, let me rephrase that. But since college, I just feel like, he, I don't know, he just didn't have that it factor to me. Yeah. And, I, I, and, and then you know how like second year around they have, you know, they usually figure quarterbacks out or they're, they have that first year of tape on them. Yeah. And I think that that. But, but it's, it, for me, it's a little different with, with Hurts because he went all the way to the Super Bowl. So the Chiefs had all year. They, they, they had everything to figure him out. And they had two weeks to figure him out. And then, you know, if you watch the Super Bowl back, Hurts ripped them up. Oh, yeah, no, he had a He ripped them up in the Super Bowl. He absolutely ripped them up. You know, I just rewatched that game out of nowhere. And I'm watching, and I'm like, damn, that dude's good. Like, you're just watching him play after play in a Super Bowl. First year in it, no nerves, perfect passes, knew what he was doing with the ball. I, I just think things fell apart for the whole system I think the Niners of broke Philly. Them. <laughs> the 49ers broke them. It's possible. I've seen, it's I've possible. seen an article it's possible. in her podcast about that. Because that's when they uh, started uh, that's when it going all fell against apart. each other. Yeah. Well, and, that's, and that also is, what's, that's, what's his name against fault? Who's that? Uh, Nick. What the hell is his last name? Uh, the, the Sirianni. Yeah. That's Sirianni's fault, you know? Yeah, for sure. It, when, uh, listen, when the team starts falling apart mentally and they start fighting with each other, they start beefing, that's one of your main jobs so as, a as a head coach. <laughs> no, <fuck>. it's, <laughs> to, it's to get your boys back on the right freaking page, <clears throat> you know? <clears throat> it's one of the reasons when people say, like, oh, Andy Reid, he's not that great, this, that, the other. I'm like, you know what? You know how many times those personalities probably fall apart during the year in Kansas City? But, he, but, yeah, he's got Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, he's got Travis Kelsey. But you know what? That doesn't win a championship. Right. It truly doesn't. No. You have it, to bring that locker room together. Yeah. Uh, guess what? They had that tandem against the Bucks. Didn't win them a Super Bowl then. <laughs> they got their asses whipped. That's just what happens. You, you need to get everything back on track. Uh, and, and, and Sirianni just wasn't able to do it, unfortunately. You know? I mean, I, I it was weird because everybody was starting to say once you got into the middle of last season, is Sirianni going to get fired? Is he going to get fired? And most people are like, uh, excuse me, that dude went to a Super Bowl last year. You want to fire him and he's not even through another year? But then you start talking about it and you're like, wait, wait, wait. There's a fundamental problem here. Yeah. There's a fundamental problem here. Did you hear? I heard something that, you know, Big Dom, the, the security guy that got into it with Dre Greenlaw. And got suspended. Their, it's their head of security. Mm-hmm. I heard that he, he's Sirianni's uh, like personal security on game day, and he's uh-huh. the one that's supposed to like help him contain his emotions. And he wasn't around for those games. He was suspended, and you know, I don't. I think what did the NFL not let him come back for the rest of the year or something like that on the yes. sideline? Yes. Yes. And I heard that. Uh, that. Uh, the head coach was getting into spats with people because he was emotional because Big Dom wasn't there. I don't know if that's he shay she shay. You know it what is, I mean? and I certainly hope that that's not true because he is a grown ass man with a beyond grown ass job. He is the head coach of an NFL franchise. There yeah. are only thirty two of them on planet Earth, and he's a young guy, which means that shit is special. If you need somebody to control your emotions, you know what? You ain't head coach material. You ain't head coach material. Who's that? I coach? mean, right? Who's the? Oh, that's 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 uh Sean McVay. That's the guy that has that pulls him back. You know, when he's like on the field, yeah. he has the guy that's yeah. pulling back. Yeah, um, I, I mean, I I get it, but uh, and 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 you know what, Phil? That's true. I mean, it's true, but it's not true. Matt Mahomes carries the whole team. Uh, my counterpoint to that is is if it wasn't for a muffed kick, if it wasn't for a stroke of luck, yeah. in my opinion, the San Francisco 49ers sure. are Super Bowl champions yeah. today. Bro, it's it was listen, they were getting dominated. They couldn't move the ball down the freaking field. The ball <clears throat> hits the guy on a punt return. They get the ball back at the San Francisco 14, First and that score, was right? it. It was 17-7. Yeah. But... It was 17-7. The 49ers had them done. Done. Had them done. And that kick, yeah, give Patty the ball when he can't move the ball at the other team's 14. Yeah, he's going to beat you. Mm-hmm. He's gonna. It doesn't matter what defense you are. He's going to beat your ass. Mm-hmm. And it didn't matter. Even if they didn't score a touchdown, they're still down seven. Mm-hmm. Now, now Patty's like, eyes wide open. You guys are done. You're, I'm within seven. I got you. Mm-hmm. But what happened in the Bucks game when they lost that Super Bowl? 
they were dominated from play one. They were b- oh, way yeah. behind the eight ball. Oh, yeah. So when you get Patty down 10, mm-hmm. down 14, mm-hmm. down 20, he, he can't do What do you want him to do? Mm-hmm. He's not going to come back. You're going to mm-hmm. beat him. That's, Especially if you keep the pressure on, that's, like Tampa did. In that first half, the 49ers did not keep the pressure on. They should have been up way exactly. more than what they were. Like you said, similar to the Bucks, Bucks game, the Bucks came out and put the foot to the pedal from the from the beginning. They put their foot on their throat. Next. Yes, yes. On their the throat beginning. from the second it came out. Yeah. And here's the problem that people don't remember. Uh, it was the defense that did that for mm-hmm. Tampa. No, but, guess who was, but guess who was on the other side? Tom freaking Brady. <laughs> yeah, so, so when you have a defense that puts their foot on Patrick Mahomes and that offense's neck, and then you have Brady on the other side, good luck. Mm-hmm. You're dead. You're mm-hmm. done. And you know what? That's why the... That's why the Patriots won six Super Bowls with him. Mm-hmm. Because they had a defense that put their foot on your neck and then Brady Brady's whooped your on ass. The other side, yeah. yeah, Brady's the guy like, hold that bitch down. I'm going to mm-hmm. beat his ass. Mm-hmm. That's Brady. Mm-hmm. And I'm not, guys, I'm not taking away from Tom Brady. Tom Brady is the GOAT. I'm not taking away from him. What I'm saying is, when you put Tom Brady in a situation where his defense or the bullies in a fight and he's got four guys holding the other guy down, Tom Brady says, hold him, he's going to beat you gonna every beat time. Mm-hmm. And that's what happened. Tell me a Super Bowl where the Patriots didn't have an elite defense, where they won a title. Every one. You can't, no one can say it because they always did. And that's why Belichick was a genius and so was Brady. Make that offensive line work and have a great defense and let Tom Brady cook. And have a that was the recipe. <laughs> that was the recipe. Yep. And, 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 and just, and just, yeah. And have, oh, no. Vinatieri was. Oh my God. Vinatieri and then, Gron- and then uh, Goskowski. Goskowski, yeah. He had Vinatieri, then Goskowski. They literally had the perfect freaking formula. The perfect formula. So, but, you know, sorry, back to the break. But this, that was, it is, it's true. Look, in my opinion, you know, you can totally think I'm wrong, and and I pro- and I could be wrong. I probably am wrong, but I'm gonna say it anyway. If that punt return doesn't hit a 49er, yeah, I agree. The San Francisco 49ers are world champions today, and we are not talking about this. I agree. We're not. We're not because it's 17-7 that midway through the second half. In the game. It changed everything because they score right away right on the next away. play. And next now it's play. 17-14. Yep. And now the 49ers are like, oh, my God, what are we going to do? We we're... played so well for so long. And, and now Patty Mahomes is winning three. <laughs> uh, well, no, three. <laughs> three. Because it was 17-7. Seven. They made it yeah, 17-14. Yep, 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 yep. Right? You're right? Right? You're right. That's the whole difference. So That kick, too. That field goal, extra point, bro. <laughs> that oh, got me Jesus. so salty. Oh Jesus! I'm yeah, a big Niner th- fan. I know. I I listen. I was. I'm a Patrick Mahomes fan first, Steven, but I was still rooting for him. Steven's not lying too. The yes. 49ers had him beat in 2019 to uh, the Tyreek Hill. He. Yep. Yep. Your exact st- Captain America agreed 100. percent They had him beat in 19 as well. I know. <laughs> I know. That's 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 good stuff right there. That was worth taking an extra five ten minutes out of the break. Because it's true, you know. We hear a lot of stuff, you know. We we look. Uh, I when, when's when's Mahomes not going to be in another Super Bowl? I can't stand watching the Chiefs anymore. They win every year. Weirdly enough, it, 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 this luck is going to run out. It's it, you know what I mean. That kick hitting the guy in the leg that's going to stop happening. I hope so. It sure. will, and things will change. I hope so, because I'm a fucking Niner fan, and I'm. Did he touch? I'm sorry. I look. Yeah. No. Go ahead. Uh, go I'm, ahead. I curse I'm all the time. Tired of fucking losing. I hear you. In the Super Bowl, man. We lost in the last, what, since, what, 2012, I think, or 2013? Since, uh, Ka- uh, what was Kaepernick, it? Kaepernick, uh, yeah. Kaepernick, Ravens. You, you had Kaepernick, Ravens, and then you had Garoppolo against the Chiefs yep, in 19. and then we just had this one. Three losses, yep. man. Trust me, I know. You <laughs> You wish you would have grown up in my era in terms of football because literally every year in my era was the Super Bowl was already set. Yeah. And it was the NFC Championship. Yeah. It was the Dallas Cowboys and, and it was 49ers. the San Francisco 49ers. <laughs> yep. It was it was Troy Aikman, Michael Irvin, Emmett Smith against Steve Young, Jerry Rice, and that ridiculous 49er Steve team. Pitts I mean, oh, man. And it was always the best <laughs> game. And it was like, all right, so you're watching the NFC Championship. All right, so who's going to whip the shit out of the Bills or whoever else this year? <laughs> and that was the, the only thing you wondered was, was will the Niners or the Cowboys cover the spread? That's it. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. all you wondered once that NFC championship was over in the mm-hmm. 90s. 
And most of the time, it was the Cowboys or the Niners covering. What a time. To you, be you, you remember the first year, Steve Young? I mean, uh, did you ever see that game? First year, Steve Young won a Super Bowl mm. after Joe Montana? I was one when that happened. 94, you're talking about? I think it was 94. Yeah, yeah I was they beat the live. They beat the breaks off the Chiefs. and uh, the, Not the Chiefs, the, the Chargers. Oh, Chargers. Oh, the Chargers. Chargers. Yeah, 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 okay, right. and here was the crazy thing about that game. I think that spread was like 16. Really? And they covered by a lot. They That's beat them crazy. by like 30. Damn. Everyone was like, I don't believe the chief. The spread is crazy. And I was still a kid. And I'm like, they're going to watch watch Steve Young cook. And he cooked. Oh, my God. They put up 44. The I think they put up 44. I think they put up 44 in that yeah, game. Yeah, it was crazy. And I think they stopped. I think they put up 44 in like the first two and a half to three quarters. <laughs> and then they just let it go because they were just, dist- it, was an, it was an annihilation. Who remembers that game? And that is a, it, of course it was a bad game. It was over in the first half. It was almost like that that Denver Seattle game in MetLife Stadium when it was over in the first quarter. Nice hit for for the Panthers and Brian. Brian, wait a minute. This is Brian's first break with us. This was Brian's first break with us. Brian, Bryce Young Silver, nice. That's good. Rookie green scope for the Giants. Of Eric Gray. All right, this is awesome. I'm loving this football talk. You guys liking this? Let's turn this into more breaks. Let's turn this into more breaks. We got to fill out the filler for Impeccable and NT. Ooh, Olave second year silver. That might be the guess. I'm not sure. Michael Wilson for Austin Sorensen on the fill. Will Levis. It's funny, he's missing with Detroit, but he hit with, with, the, with the Panthers. Chubb, Matt Judon. No, that's not the auto. Guys, that's not the auto guess. Michael Wilson is not the auto guess. Bryce Young. There, there's your auto guess right there. It's funny, guys. I wanted to say one thing that's very much off topic, but I, I want people to understand a lot of, th- th- there's a lot of Blaze family members out there, especially ones that are on Blaze baseball or Blaze basketball that really don't like me. And a lot of the reason is, is because they think I'm so opinionated. Um, I do hold strong opinions, but I want to answer that. A lot of it is my tone. I don't mean to come off as a know-it-all. Um, I just believe strongly in my opinions. But that's why I like to try to preface it with, I could be wrong, or whatever else I say. Okay, I want everybody to know that. You know, I don't think I'm a know-it-all. I don't think every opinion I have is right. Um, But I'm saying it, and I have the opinion, just based on research, and uh, based on the way my brain computes things, and, but I'm always open to the fact that I'm wrong in everything. I mean, except when you say something like, you said this, and it's clear I didn't. You know what I mean? That person knows who he's t- who I'm talking about. Ah, uh, wacky. I got you. <laughs> okay. Wacky, that's okay. Wacky, that's okay. Brees Hall, Silver. I love you, Wacky. Damn, <laughs> Wacky. I love you, buddy. I you for you. But I love you. But I love you, Wacky. All right. Ooh, it was a Josh Downs break. I know. Trust me, I know, City Goat. I know they sit in there and they attack me on Blez basketball and then sometimes on Blez baseball, but I know. I know. I know they do. I, I've always said it, guys. I'm, I am literally like the greatest wrestler in history, right? Mm-hmm. What's, what's the goal of being a wrestler in, in WWE or whatever? It's to, have, it's, it's to have both sides. It's mm-hmm. to have people, half the place hate you and mm-hmm. half the place love you. Right. Because that's why, why do you think John Cena was the biggest wrestler in the world? It wasn't because of anything other than half of the crowd hated him and half of them loved him. Which meant every single person in that building had an opinion. If you got an opinion of someone, that means well, you're paying you. attention. Well, exactly. That means you're popular. Exactly. It's really what it is. It's, it's, it's true. And also, 
Everybody don't yeah. wake up and have haters. Like, like, really think about it. Yeah. Uh, the normal person don't just wake up and go to their job and have a haters in the comments, in the chat. or That's true. You know what I mean? That's a good on point. On Instagram, when they yeah. post something. The normal person don't have that. So if you got that, then you pop it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, mean, it means that you're making people take notice. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, it's true. That's how it's I true. It. Yeah, unless you're stone cold. I mean, listen, there's only one. That's why there's only one stone cold. <laughs> exactly. But that is, a, by the way, Lucky, Maddie Blake, that is a fact. I am 100% the top heel at Bless Sports Cards. I've been the top heel for years. For years in this place. And I get it. I'm a pain in the ass. But that's a whole different thing. You guys, you, you guys actually, you know what? I was going to say you guys don't see that side of me. That's bullshit. You guys see that side of me all the time. I do. I complain about shit on here all the time. When I don't have product or, or, or this isn't done right or that isn't done right. Yeah, I get annoyed. But you know why that is. I get annoyed because it's my job to bring you the best product. As in the best show, the best breaks. And when things get in the way of that, and it's not me doing it, I get pissed. You guys know that because it's all about you in the end, at the end of the day. Right? It's all about what makes you guys happy. That's what we're doing here. All right, let's recap. Then I'm going to show you the, uh, the prolific uh, short print and your auto guess. All right, boys. Let's take a look. This was a pretty nice break. It was, a, it was actually a weird break. There was a lot of a lot of uh, Josh Downs in it. Michael Wilson. Some nice color. Can't see. Stroud. There's a Downs color. Will. There's Hertz. There's a Downs Auto. Silver Bryce Young was nice. All right. Here's your guess. And what did I say? What did I say? I remember Coco Beware, Nady Schweitzer. Hey, buddy. How you doing? All right. It's a regular rookie prism silver. I think somebody should get this. Did somebody get the man who, in my opinion, for 40, should have been defensive rookie of the year? Collegiate champion from the Georgia Bulldogs. To be honest, this was one of the more interesting drafts I've ever seen a team make, the Eagles. They literally raided the whole Georgia defense. Yeah, all three of their picks were Georgia were Georgia kids. Really? They're, they're, well, their their first ones. It was it was Jalen Carter, Georgia D lineman, Nolan Smith, Georgia linebacker, and and Ringo, the defensive back from Georgia. Mm -hmm. They took all three. I would have did the same thing. Georgia was balling that year, bro. <laughs> and this guy ball. This guy did ball. Yeah, he did. This guy should have been. You know, he should have been top ten, top. Uh, no. it, it's hard for me because I love Will Anderson and I love the fact that Will Anderson being defensive rookie of the year helps out the strength of Houston for mm -hmm. us to sell. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, I still, as a football fan, really wish that he won. Nothing against Will Anderson. He's great. But this dude just rocked it. Yeah. I mean, this dude should have been defensive rookie of the year. He really should have. So who got it? J-Mo? J-Mo, is it you? You were first to say Jalen Carter? I think this dude, I mean... Obviously, we're not going to be like ESPN, and we're not going to say something dumb like Reggie White, right? Only, only, only a hyping, whatever is going to say that. Who the hell could we compare him to? I'm not going to say Aaron Donald either. That's going too far. Who the hell do we compare him to? A that's Warren a Sapp, question. maybe? I don't know. Nah. I think that's going far too. That Warren, might be. Warren's I don't know. A Hall of Famer. I, I know. Well, this kid could be a Hall of Famer too. He I could. think. But I mean, you know, Reggie White is like the greatest defensive lineman of all time. Of all time, yeah. And, uh... I'm trying uh, Yeah, to... I, yeah. Oh, you're saying Sap too, Doc? I don't know. Who can we compare this kid to? Prolific. I mean, he replaced Hargrave. He could, yes. Yeah, and Dama Kung Su. He's That's a actually list. really He's good, a Super Fam. I like it. But you know what? He's not as out of control as Sue is, mm -hmm. as Sue was. Mm -hmm. Sue was out of control, unfortunately. Is he still in the league? I think he is. I think the Niners I think he to is. Sign him Matabuki? Catfish, Catfish Kate, I like it. Matabuki. I like that one. All right. Prolific. Oh, God, it's a rookie prolific. Rookie prolific. All right. Let's do it for Sam Isaac. Let's be Stroud. I'll take Anthony Richardson. I'll take Levis. Come on. Come on. 
or Mahomes. But oh wait, it can't be Mahomes, the rookie. Rookie. D. Or is that a B? Is that Bryce Young? Nope. That is Bijan Robinson. That is Bijan Robinson for Chad and all sports. Okay. That is disgusting. Bijan. Chaddy! He's not here. I think he's busy today, but boy, did he just hit a good one. Profiles. I love this kid. I love this kid. And you know what? Watch this kid cook when his team gets better and his coaching gets better. That's gross. Bijan Robinson, prolific short print for Chad All Sports. We'll beat the we'll beat the sword on that one. We'll do a little little BTS on that. Great break. <laughs> 